Hello there and welcome to this video of 10 tips for Northgard. My name is Maxmark and I've put together a list of playstyle tips for you that could help you out on your next playthrough. At the time that this video is made, the game is still in early access. A lot can change before the final release, or has changed since then, depending on when you see this video. Should there be significant changes however, I will be putting up another video with some useful tips after the final version has been released. Let's get started. Tip number 1. Build a woodcutter, scout camp and house all at once when you start a new game. Send a scout out right away and, depending on your clan and your food income, consider to have two woodcutters instead of just one. And keep an eye on your population, as once the indicator goes red, you'll have lost precious time where a new villager could have been spawned. Tip number 2. Give orders to the scout early game because of saving time. Later on in the game, this is not so important anymore and you don't need to micromanage him. Just get him to at least scout the first 3 or 4 tiles around your town hall. Make sure you scout ahead as much as possible to see in which direction you want to expand and to see the enemy's borders. It's also a good way to see where there might be ruins or shipwrecks around. When you're satisfied with how many tiles you've scouted, or you can't scout any more tiles, make sure to return your scout to be a villager or another unit. Don't forget, in order to see inside enemy tiles, you need to upgrade your scout camp. Tip number 3. Get your villagers who are scavenging food onto a tile with a silo in it. This will increase their productivity by 10% or even 20% when the silo is upgraded. Tip number 4. Place your towers away from the enemy border. Invading soldiers will need to walk much longer to get to the tower, meanwhile taking more hits from the tower and giving you more time to react to the situation sending soldiers. It pretty much works as a lightning rod when you get attacked. Tip number 5. When attacking, get a war chief or a shield bearer up front to take the hits from the towers. They will take a lot of hits from the arrows and allow your other units who do more damage but have less armor to stay alive longer to do damage. Special units like the Shield Maiden or Berserker work as well of course. Tip number 6. Use hotkeys to quick access units or buildings. You can use this to create separate groups of soldiers simply by pressing the control button with a number ranging from 1 to 0 on your keyboard. You also might want to consider creating a quick key for buildings like a healer's hut. This will allow you to change the priorities of units who are getting healed without you having to look for the healer's hut on the map first. Tip number 7. Get your longship dock or your harbor up as soon as you can. It's important to build up your economy as early as possible. As an added bonus, you can select your sailors to gain either more lore or fame. My recommendation, unless you are going for a fame victory, always go for lore, as this helps you get access to new lore research quicker. Fame is mostly only important until you reach level 500. Afterwards, it is pretty much only relevant for the clan of the bear, whose military strength grows by 1% for every 100 points of fame. Tip number 8. Take care of wolves and drogas near your borders. Deal with them as early as you can. If left alone, they will always be a nuisance invading your tiles and perhaps killing off a villager or two or maybe even soldiers. This is a real strain on your resources and can severely hinder your early game economics so make sure you get rid of them as early as possible. Getting rid of wolf caves or droga tombs, as in colonizing the tile, also gives you some small resource bonuses like iron and fame. Tip number 9. When attacked, move your scout back to your territory. He will lose 50% health or 50 hit points out of 100 at every attack, so just getting him back for a few seconds to get healed up, providing no one else is getting healed, is enough to send him back out again as his health will be over 50 hit points again and the next attack won't kill him. Rinse and repeat. Tip number 10. Use the strong points of your clan. For example, the clan of the wolf has added bonuses for your military. Clan of the stag has great food and wood bonuses in early game, allowing you to expand and build faster than other clans and so on. Read into the clan specifics in game or the Northgard Wikia to find out what their strengths are and also look at the lore research window, as every clan has their unique lore research. There you go, 10 tips for Northgard. 
If you feel something is missing or want to react to something, let me know in the comments below. There will be a second video with tips for Northgard in the near future. If you have an idea about which tips to add, you can also leave that tip in a comment below. Until then, thank you for watching this video. This is usually the part where you'd be asked to subscribe, but I'll leave that all up to you. What I would really appreciate is for you to follow me on my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash maxmark. A link will be in the description below. Feel free to join my streams when I go live and come to have a talk with me in a Twitch chat. See you there! Have a good one!